you, uh, you know, huge two goals there at the end of the game, tie it up and win it. Uh, do you think that, how did you feel that the pace of the game changed throughout the first few periods and then getting into overtime? Um, I thought we started really well. Uh, we felt like our first period was a lot better than last game. We were skating a lot better. Um, so we were pretty happy with that. And then the second period, we just kind of sat back a little bit and uh, just weren't really too clean at the offensive and defensive blue lines, which kind of fed their momentum. Uh, but we found a bit of a way to just kind of get through that, another their, their push. And then we came out in the third and we were just pushing for a goal the whole time. So we knew it was going to come and we, uh, we had no doubt that and um, I noticed that the uh, Stocks and Heat official Twitter account has, uh, after the after the goal, has taken to calling you Matty Ice. What is your reaction to that? I don't know. I, I've heard a ton of different nicknames, so uh, that's, you can just have that one to myself. <laughs> Sorry about that. Any other questions for Matthew? Paige, go ahead. Hi, Matthew. Um, kind of talk around when people talk about you as a player, they seem to reference your days in Victoria a lot because you definitely just established an identity for yourself out there. Do you feel like you're also establishing quite a well-known identity for yourself for Stockton as well? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, it's, uh, it's obviously a, a very different game from junior to pro. And uh, I think when I get my time in junior, I, I grew a lot from my first year to my third year. And my book career is... Kind of feeling the same that I'm getting better and better as as time goes on and more comfortable and finding ways to uh, to kind of use my skill set and impact the game. So I, I think just want to keep getting better. Thanks. 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 Darren, go ahead. So what's what's on the, the the next list to conquer? You got the goal scoring figured out. You got the point production figured out. What's what, what are you what are you working at what what's the things that are really trying to hone in at this point Matthew yeah I, I think uh, you, there's never really too much that you can work on you, I, I like to work on my shot a lot I think that's something that uh, I've improved a lot since I've started to play in Stockton um, and my skating I think has gotten a lot better too so those are two things that every time I'm on the ice that I'm trying to keep in the back of my head and, and continue to work on for sure how about that letter on your sweater? I remember when Dylan Dubé went back to uh, to Kelowna and he was probably ready to go to, to the American Hockey League, but age wouldn't permit that. So it was like, you know, what, what are you going to go back to junior? What's next on the accomplishment list? And that was something he really spoke of is kind of went back to kind of take, to kind of build up that leadership and feel more comfortable in that part of it. Is that something that, uh, that you've kind of been, uh, you know, this year I've tried to kind of take on a little bit more of? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, being here for my third year, I'm very comfortable with all the coaches, and there's quite a few guys that have been here uh, the entire time. And I like to think of myself as a leader and someone that um, brings energy and kind of picks everybody up. So uh, it's a privilege that I don't take lightly. And um, I mean, it, it means a lot to be a leader. And there's a lot of different situations. There's guys that are 30 that have been around for a long time. There's guys that are just playing their first pro game. So I think I kind of fit nicely into the middle of that. Uh, it just kind of make everyone feel comfortable. And you know, Kale, you know the system. And when there's first-year guys, they kind of need guys like you to kind of be the unofficial coaches sometimes just to kind of help get through drills and stuff. Have you seen that side of it? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, uh, Kale and I have a very good really relationship. Uh, he's very approachable. And uh, it's really easy to talk to about anything. And, and I think I have uh, a pretty good understanding now of how he wants to – Coach practices around the bench on the game and all that kind of stuff. So if I can be kind of a second voice from time to time, that's always good. Just don't screw up the drills. Nobody likes a drill killer out there. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Head over to Mike. All right, my last question. Um, uh, you know, really nice uh, pass by Emilio on your first goal of the night. Um, and you know, your coach spoke pretty highly about how he's sort of improving and, and uh, acclimatizing to the AHL game as this season has gone on. And what did you see from him after he was put on your line late in the game? Yeah, I think uh, PD's done a pretty good job so far of adjusting. And um, we all know that he has great offensive talent. And uh, that's something that he brought right away uh, as soon as the season started. And everyone saw that. So. Uh, he's just figuring out more ways to, to get open and make plays happen. And uh, that was a great example of that. 
Uh, that's kind of right in my wheelhouse and from the past playing better. So it's good to see him. Uh, even the fact that he he's a uh, Get, gets put on the ice for a solid rotation in a tie game like that uh, kind of says a lot. And he's earned it. He works really hard and, and he's gaining the coach's trust. And is he a guy who you see some of yourself in a little bit? Uh, you know, looking, thinking back to when you first jumped into the AHL, do you see any similarities between the way that you two play? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, we have a lot of really skilled young guys. And I think that's another way that I, I feel like I'm kind of helping out because. Uh, I didn't have the smoothest start to my pro career, so I, I know firsthand um, some games aren't going to be easy. They're going to be tough. And, yeah, you, you don't want to get too down on yourself, uh, but Pete's done a great job. So he's uh, worked really hard and he's earned his opportunity. Thank you.